Alright, I'm back and I'm um, not. That wasn't my intro. Hey guys, this is Arm Productions, aka Nana Force and I'm back in the Trolls Fairy Tale Part 5. I'm not going to talk at all, so let's just go. Yes, I've cried tears of anger and frustration before, but no one has ever made me cry actual tears of hurt. That duty has, all, has, has also been the sole task of my mother to could do effortless. Eff effortlessly. Ah, uh, effortlessly, blah blah blah. Come on, help me finish getting ready. It's getting late. She looked at me at me with concern, not nodding, and started to work on getting my hair under, uh, back under control. It looks like this night is going to be a rough one. The night carried on like any other. Today I was I was even able to catch the attention of a few trolls, but well, I didn't get to see it. Sorry, you can pause on the radio. <laughs> Though it was a good, uh, though it, that uh, though that was good for me because that gave me some free time to sneak off and search for some new spices. As I started searching through the bundle of herbs I'd found, the smell of cinnamon and familiar spice began to dance in my nostrils. Oh, hello, Mister! I didn't pick up any cinnamon. Picking uh, through each and every of the spices, I waved to waved them towards my nose to see which of, the, uh, of that I was given the intoxicating smell. Would you ever uh, one of this? It smells so good. So you like my cologne, yeah? Cologne. 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 Isn't that the one? Cologne. <laughs> Looking up, I saw that man st standing right there in front of me. His chest exposed once again and I noted. Staring again? I know I'm handsome, but can't control yourself, buttercup. It was when I realized uh, my mouth was open and shut. Sh shutting it, I put the spices back in my small ba basket. I was looking at a bot cr uh, back crawling on your chest. I was fa failing miserably at hiding the fact that I was gawking, gaw gawking at him. <laughs> Why was he so handsome and so arrogant about it? I don't see any back. I pointed, to, uh, I pointed up towards his chest. There it is, right there. Ow! With one quick motion, I slapped his bad, bad chest, which caused him to reel back in pain and shock. What are you hitting me for? Giving him my best innocent look, I took my hand. Uh, I shook my head in confusion. Oh, I thought I saw a bath. His hands narrowed at me, with, uh, with a mischievous grin spreading on his face. Oh, really? I think I see it on you now that you mention it. I jumped back as he started advancing towards me. I swear if you touch me, I'm going to snap your fingers off and shove them in your eye sockets. What the heck? He, he let out a genuine laugh as I, and I noticed his laugh wasn't too bad either. It was kind of pleasant. Violent and it, as, uh, as ever aren't you, love? That's not my name. Not wanting to pet, uh, not wanting the pet names to persist, I tried changing the subject. Where did you get the spices for the come up? Cologne you wear. <laughs> I'll tell you if you do me a favor. I looked at him and cr crossed while he stood there smirking down at me. I s starting a conversation with him this close was a bad idea. I should hurry up and end it quick. Forget it. I tr trying to take a step back from him, I felt my uh, my back hit, hit uh, the trunk of one of the trees. That man placed his hands on uh, the side uh, on the trunk at uh, the sides side of my head. I felt his fingers faintly brush my cheek. He stared at me with his black breath tinkling with beautiful silver eyes. His gaze dropped down to my hand and his smirk grew uh, even bitter. Bitter. Bigger. I can't talk. I didn't know a woman at your age that still carried around uh, a diary. Joking my head back, uh, it bumped up it bumped up against the tree trunk as I hit my diary behind my uh, behind my back. I could feel my uh, face grow hard out of the embarrassment. And when I looked up, I'm sorry, someone suddenly came. I can't remember, but remember where I were. I could feel my face grow. I'm sorry, grow hard uh, out of embarrassment. And when I looked up to glare at him, a small gasp escaped my lips. The memo was way too close. Trying to push him back, I punched his chest, but it didn't seem to affect him as he grasped, or at all as he grasped my wrist. Just how strong is this guy? 
You better back up. I will if you do me a favor. He leaned in closer. The smell of his cool, mindy breath brushed past my face. Bake me one of your pastries. What? You? I... He continued to look at me, waiting for an answer. Finally, give it in a snack, snarled up at him. All right, fine. I'll do so. Just back up. With a grin, he dropped my hand and took a step back. If it's a big pastry he wants, then it's a big pastry he'd get. He'd get. Turning away from uh, and walking back home, I feel an evil grin spread across my face. I'll beg you something that will knock your taste buds right off your tongue, tongue, you arrogant toad. Mom still uh, hasn't said much to me since yesterday. I didn't get much sleep either. After I got up and got changed, I decided to try to stay at her on her good side until she calms down. While working at this special pastry that I promised them in, I couldn't help but smile to myself. I tucked all sorts of hot and sour spices and herbs into the batter. His taste bud will be in shambles after he, shambles after he bites into this. I'll make sure of it. After, uh, after it, I had finished baking and cooling, I placed it, ne um, it neatly in a folded napkin. Then, when he arrived, I gave him my best smile and handed it over. You didn't do anything weird to it, did you? No, of course not. Good. My mother told me how good at baking your baking was. I felt a smell of pang of guilt in my chest. I didn't know he just try wanted to try my baking because he thought it was good. I thought he was just trying to piss me off. Um, about that. You're not going to give this to your mother, are you? I saw a mischievous glint in his eyes as he smirked at me. Actually, now that you ask, I was planning on giving it to someone else. There's a certain girl, girl who's playing hot to get. I figured that this might be just a thing to finally win her over. And just as quick as my remorse came, it left. He was trying to use my food to try to show off to some girl. Thanks again, Buttercup. I'm sure she'll love this. Plastering a fake smile on his on my face, I waved goodbye. He turned away, chuckling to himself. I'm sure she will. Go get him, Tiger. <laughs> when he was finally out of sight, I ran out uh, into the store to find my sister, who's been working on a customer's order. After untying my opera and folding on the table, I patted her on the shoulder. Watch the shop for me. Where are you going? Her brown eyes widened with surprise as she, uh, she looked up at me. No time, I'll be back. Without another word, I hurried through the back door and tailed after them in. There was no way I was going to miss this. I rounded the corner and stopped in my tracks. I could just two, see two figures standing off on the other side of the trail under a shadowy oak tree, crouching down, crouching, my, <laughs> down behind some bushes, sneaking as close as I dared. I couldn't believe that I was skipping out of work, uh, out of my work, but I just couldn't pass up the opportunity, opportunity to see that smart get, uh, look getting wiped off his face. He was leaning on the tree next to a giggling girl. He looked so confident, so sure of himself, as he ran his finger through his hair and cautiously dropped his arm over her shoulder. I held my breath to prevent me from bursting into laughter. The man finally hardened, handed her the. Uh, ro role that I had made. I watched with barely suppressed glee as she took a bite. Her face uh, slowly turned from delight to pure disgust. <laughs> yes! <laughs> Damien's smug smile vanished as she, shoved the, as she shoved the food back into his hands and stormed away. Uh, I covered my mouth with both of my hands. Now I support the chunk uh, of the end of the... Uh, sorry, I'm so weird. Uh, as he pulled a chunk off the end of the pastry and his, and his beautiful face wrinkled in horror. But this was just priceless. Unable to hold it any longer, I fell to the ground and laughed till my star stomach started to cramp. That's not a good idea, you're going to get cat caught. Through my tears, I saw his gaze. Uh, snapped towards me. His, eye narrow his eyes narrowed angrily as he made uh, his way towards me. Time to go. For, uh, though trolls are very strong, we aren't very fast. But seeing how I got the uh, advantage distance-wise with him, I thought I might be able to get away before he catch up with, uh, with catch up with and subsequently murder me. With my heart uh, 
My heart pounded fury thunderously in my chest as, as panic slowly crept in while I ran uh, back towards the shop. Why did I wait until I was far enough away to laugh at him? I made it back over the hill and ran inside the shop, which was now crowded with customers. My poor sister looked like she was about to have a panic attack as she tried to t take everybody's order. Rushing in the back door, I ducked behind some tables. I could hear my sister yelling for help in front of the shop. Hey! Hang on, let me get ready. I could faintly hear them in shouting my name <laughs> over the din of the customers. There was no way I was letting him catch me that easily. It was his fault for corroging me. He got what he deserved. I spent the rest of the day hiding from them in, trying to help my sister attend the shop's sudden influx of customers. After getting uh, some much needed rest, I decided to get ready for the next meet and greet. I couldn't help but wonder what Damien was up to, and Dr. who let me off the hook that easily after today's incident. As I was try tying up my tangled hair, I heard a light tap on my window. I opened it and saw a tiny little bird with a note wrapped around its foot. Gently untying it, the bird let out a happy chirp and fluttered away. I could feel myself starting to grin as I unfolded the paper. Don't think you got away. You're you are missed. You missed with the wrong uh, one. Smiley. Signed Damien. Damien. Who puts winky faces on their letters? The idiot. What was that? My sister voice snapped out of my face. Quickly crumpled up the paper and hid it behind my back. Can you help me with my hair? Eyeing me warmly, she made her way and started redoing my tangled ponytail. Are you hiding something from me? What should make you think I'm hiding something? Uh, are you hiding something from me? Looking into the mirror, I saw my sister's face flush a deep red as she started stammering. What? No! What are you talking about? I didn't think my bluff would actually work on her. I guess sisters have all their secrets of, of their own. Though I didn't really care what they were, this is a good way to shut her up. With uh, winking, I placed my finger on my lips and shushed her. Nodding her head earnestly, she turned uh, her focus back to my hair. You'll tell me later though, right? I always do. We chatted about silly things as we got ready. I'm sure if Alakwa wasn't around, I would have been extremely lonely and probably would have given in to my mother's pressure to settle down and marry for money. Everyone seemed to be more lively than usual. Maybe it's because uh, tomorrow's meet and greet was going to be can uh, cancelled to make way for the Queen's Ball's social ball. The ball was open to all of those who was able to f f f <laughs> to find fancy uh, fancy ball gown to wear. I already have business I need to do take care of that day, so I lack her often offered me to handle my clothing clothing arrangements. She really is a lifesaver. Leaning against one of the trees, I watched the crowd. I could all I could already see a lot of fo couples forming. Some proudly hung their arms over another's shoulder, while others just had their uh, arms wrapped around someone else's ra waist. I could feel my uh, mood st some slowly start to grow sore. Why am I even here? Suddenly, I felt someone's gaze prickling at the back of my neck. Turning around, I found exactly who it was. The man was standing a uh, some distance away, surrounded by another hardly laughing something. Throwing me a smack look, he draped an arm around the girl's shoulder. For str some strange reason, I couldn't help but get really annoyed by his utter lack of understanding of personal space. Why was it so that so easy for him to fight like that? Turning away as if I never saw him, I s continued to, s to scan the crowd, hoping for a friendly face. The familiar s smell of cinnamon and spice and everything nice slowly filled my nerves. I hated how much I started to like that scent. And I'm going to end the episode here, so I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!